In the previous video, I have explained the concept of gene by taking the example of human eye color. In this short presentation, I will explain the role of OCA2 gene and how it controls the eye color in humans. Before we start, I have a quick request to make. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your kind support. With that note, let's start the presentation. In this slide, I'm going to explain OCA2 gene. And this particular gene, both of these, these genes, they are present on uh, chromosome 15, right? So this is important to uh, remember that the, this gene is present on chromosome 15. And this particular gene is responsible for the expression of P protein. So the protein the three-dimensional amino acid structure that is going to be synthesized uh, from this particular gene is known as P protein. Okay, so you need to remember that too. And now the P protein is responsible here for the production of melanosomes. And these melanosomes, they are responsible for the production and the storage of melanin and that is the pigment this is the important point here that this is the pigment that is responsible for the different different eye color different, different shades of eye color so so the production and the storage of this particular pigment is affected definitely as you can see this is affected by OCA2 gene right and now the poly polymorphism in this particular gene is responsible for the different 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 eye colors so the amount of p protein is directly linked with the different eye colors in case of humans you have light blue uh, you have green and most likely it's going to be light green and then brown color and different shades of these colors right so this is the role of OCA2 gene in the regulation of uh, human eye color. As you can see, the main point is that it is going to synthesize P protein and that P protein is important for the maturation of melanosomes. And melanosomes, they store the melanin pigment. All right, now let's jump on to the next slide where we will discuss the function of HERC2 protein. In the next video, I will explain the molecular mechanism associated with HERC2 gene. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you and take care.